Hello, I'm Constance Cummings, and this is Trailers from Hell. You know, every so often people come up to me and say, Connie, what are your 10 favorite films of all time? And I tell them, are you kidding? I can't even name my 10 favorite Warner Brothers pictures from 1933. That was a really remarkable year, the last full year before the production code went from suggestion to mandatory. And no studio took better advantage of that lax enforcement than Warner Brothers, which turned out a series of sharp, gritty, fast-paced movies of all kinds, all of which bear the unmistakable imprint of production chief Daryl F. Zanuck. In fact, Warner Precode pictures are practically a genre unto themselves, and one of the most notorious was Babyface. Barbara Stanwyck made her first film in 1928, had her first leading role a year later, and by 1933 was a bona fide star, thanks largely to a series of Frank Capra pictures she made at Columbia. Tough as nails, sexy as hell, and insolent as the devil, she was a perfect fit for the steamy Warner sensibility. Of course, she didn't actually have a baby face, but hey, the song was a big hit for Warner superstar Al Jolson, so why not? As sordid as this trailer makes the movie seem, it's actually even worse. As you can see, it starts with her saloon keeper father, perennial bad guy, Robert Barrett, actually pimping her out to his customers for extra cash. She she finally flees the big city where she puts that experience to use and lands a job at a banking firm and then literally stoops her way floor by floor up to the top going through men like popcorn, including a hapless 26-year-old John Wayne. But as bad as it sounds, it is a curious kind of feminism. After all, she does take power into her own wherever. And even more impressively, the great black actress Teresa Harris plays her best friend, whom she treats as an equal. A very rare and bold stroke for that era. Still, she is an absolute monster. And it's somehow fitting that at the end of the picture, she's confronted by the greatest of all monster hunters, Edward Van Sloan. Though the moralistic ending was obviously tacked on at the last minute. Babyface had already been prized by film buffs for decades, but in 2004, a print of the original pre-censored version was found at the Library of Congress. It not only had the original ending, but it showed that other scenes had been rewritten and re-edited to tone down the amorality. It was quickly preserved and re-released, and now a great film is even greater. And who knows, maybe someday someone will stumble over a print of Convention City, another 1933 Warners that has become the holy grail of lost pre-code movies. Check your attic, check your basement, check your garage, and keep your fingers crossed. Something Babyface never did with her legs. <laughs> <laughs>